Folks, most days I am really proud to be a Texan, and then there are days like today. I want you to see something. This is really disgusting. Really disgusting behavior by Texas Department of Public Safety officers. If you don't know what Department of Public Safety is here in Texas, that's our state troopers. Okay, The same guys that were cowards in Uvalde attack peaceful protesters in the Capitol trying to, well, look, let, let me walk you through this. This is an intentional technique used by officers when they want to clear out a protest, when they want to exact a little revenge. Watch what happens here. You've got some protesters that were taken out of the, the, the gallery and they're being walked out. They're not resisting, they're not doing anything wrong, they're doing what they're told, they're complying. An officer walks up behind a, a, a protester and they intentionally, when they do this, they pick out either a female or a small person, somebody that will elicit a reaction when they do this. And they walk up and he slams his hands on his back and shoulder and causes the protester to flinch. Well, this protester, hat tip, guy by the name of Audrey Perez, an LGBTQ activist, an experienced protester, did not fall for it, did not take the bait. He did what any human being would do, which is what the officer wanted, was he flinched, but bo kept both his hands up, stayed calm, did not react at all. They throw him down, out of the way, trying to elicit a reaction from the crowd. And they got one guy to move, but the crowd stopped him. The old guy, you remember the old guy with the, you see in the gray hair that at the end there takes on it. So they go in for another one, boy, they think they got him. They think they got him stirred up enough, but they screwed up. The second protester they went after, you hear in the audio, she's yelling, press, press. Yeah, they grabbed a reporter the second time and they had to stop. It's disgusting, folks. It's shameful. It's really shameful to have DPS officers interjecting themselves in politics like this. Those people were not resisting. Those people were not doing anything wrong. We're supposed to be able to stand up to our government. We're supposed to be able to stand up to our government. But in Texas, the Republicans have gone straight fascist. And if you need more proof, I've got it. They just passed a bill here that allows a partisan, a Republican partisan state official, the Secretary of State, to throw out an election in one county. Harris County, the fastest growing Democratic county in the country. They passed a law with vague, obscure, obscure triggers saying that if like a polling place runs out of paper ballots and they've got to like hustle and go get more paper ballots, that's it. Throw it out. Any excuse they can get a hold of to throw that election out. And then they were going to rehold the election at a later date. Well, why? What does that do? I mean, what's the advantage there? Well, Democratic voters work. We work. It's really difficult to get that second election day off. And if you can just shave off a few percentage points, man, you can win. You can cheat and win. Because the old blue hairs... That, that, that make up the Republican base, uh, they ain't got no place to be. They'll show up for a second election. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. Republicans are weak and dying in this state, and they know it. 
they know Gen Z is coming up. They know that we Democrats are hitting it hard. They know that we have had enough of, of you know, t trying to take away women's rights. We've had enough of the fascism. We've had enough of the crazy. You want to stop the crazy? Here's how we do it. Vote. Every single election, every local election, you vote. And I, I know that the, you're, there's going to be folks out there, but well, you know, what? look what happened with Marjorie Trader Green, and, you know, we didn't win that one. This other. Don't worry about that one. Vote. Vote every Republican out that we can every election. And in a couple cycles, folks, there, there's this thing called the bandwagon effect in advertising. It's momentum. People see momentum going a certain way they follow. There's a thing called the anti-bandwagon effect. If you want to discourage people, you hand them losses. And that's what we need to do. Because even those hardcore districts, after a couple cycles of losing elections, they'll be ours. They'll be ours. And then a real opposition party can stand up and we can get back to governing, governing again. No more drama. No more foolishness. No being pissed off about beer. No hating LGBTQ people just for existing. No more trying to turn the government into a church-run organization. All of that goes away. Vote Democrat. Vote every Republican out. And we have this licked. I love you folks. This is Old Texas Paul. I need you to reach down right now. Hit that subscribe button. Doesn't cost you a nickel. All it does is give you a notification when you log in that, hey, I've got some new content out there. Hit the like button. Helps me with the algorithm. Helps more people see what's going on here. That's your part. That's your contribution. That's what you do to make this stuff go away. You vote and participate. Hit the like button right now. Reach down. Push the button. There you go. Help us out if you can. We love you folks. Old Texas Paul out. Hey, Midas Mighty. Love this report? Continue the conversation by following us on Instagram, at Midas Touch, to keep up with the most important news of the day. What are you waiting for? Follow us now.